welcome to Storytime with Dudley and Miss Karen. Dudley is sitting in a sunny patch on the floor. He's listening to our story off camera. And today I am reading Backstage Cat. So this is kind of about a cat that's very similar to Dudley. I am a backstage cat. My owner is a celebrity. I ride with her to the theater in a big silver gray limousine. We go inside through the stage door. It's early, way before showtime. There are no fans waiting. We go straight to the dressing room. I prefer to walk by myself, but my leading lady is in a hurry and carries me the whole way. I watch as my leading lady gets ready. She needs rouge and powder, eyelashes, lipstick, bracelets, a wig, shoes, and her costume. We hear the announcement, five minutes to curtain. Then my lady says, bye Simon, be good. I'll be back at intermission. But before the door closes, I spy something interesting in the hall. I run through the open door. Where am I? There is so much to see, furniture, lights, props, and costumes. On stage, I see two people talking. I don't think they notice me. Then, before I have time to go figure out what's going on, I hear a loud thump. Something big just dropped. I freeze, then I run. I go straight, straight into the stage. Lucky me, I see some white birch trees. I run to the nearest one and start to climb. When I reach the top, I curl up and try to make myself invisible. Then I hear a loud voice. Simon, I am the stage manager. Come down, the show must go on. I do not obey. I jump to a taller tree. The stage manager calls the stagehands. One of them shouts, Simon, I am a stagehand. I have food for you. Come down, the show must go on. I do not want a tuna fish sandwich. I take a flying leap onto a chandelier. The stagehand calls the electricians. One of them screams, Simon, I am in charge of the lighting. You cannot swing from the chandelier. Just jump down, I will catch you. Cats aren't very good at listening to directions though, are they? I don't want to jump onto the arms of the electrician. I climb higher and perch between two spotlights. I hear yelling from the stagehands. Simon, we can see you, you cannot hide from us. We are getting nowhere, said the stage manager. Call the leading lady, it's her cat. Maybe she can get him to come down. My leading lady speaks softly. Simon, please, please come down. I will hold you and kiss your head just the way you like it. Then you can watch the show. She sings to me. I relax. I want to be close to the beautiful sounds, so I climb down carefully. My leading lady keeps her promise. She kisses my face. She gives me a special seat in the wings. And she says, do not move from this chair. I expect to find you here at the end of the show. The orchestra tunes up, cast members take their positions and the show goes on. But during the third scene, a mouse runs on stage. An unwanted character runs across the stage. I can be a star too. Simon Pot the Mouse. After the show, we both sign autographs at the stage door. Well, he ended up having a good time, didn't he? The end. <laughs>